Hello everyone, today we are back in the update 1.77 dev server and we're going to have a look at the new aircraft coming to the game in the newest big update. The first one is a copy of an old one, this is the F-84G 21RE. If you are familiar with the Italian tree you will have already flown this plane because it is an American disguised as an Italian. Now we're getting the American version of that aircraft. It looks like it is slightly different with uh, these little tips on the end but the only major difference that I've found between it and the other one is the different uh, secondary weapon loadouts. So very similar to the AD-4s in both French and American tree, uh, they are incredibly similar apart from some of the loadouts. Now the next vehicle is the HE-177A5, it sits at 80,000 RP and a battle rating 5.3 in air realistic. So after the DO-217M1, before the Arado B2, a rank 4 vehicle. This is a vehicle that a lot of people have been looking forward to for a hell of a long time, and who can blame them? It's one of the only bo uh, heavy bombers, I suppose you'd call it, that the Germans properly produced for quite a long time. Over a thousand of them produced, which is incredibly surprising uh, when you uh, look at some of their other larger aircraft. Uh, when we look at the armor profile of the HE-177A5, it's nothing to really uh, be happy about, you know, 7mm uh, and 9mm in places, but generally this thing is not really going to stop uh, many bullets. You do have some bulletproof glass at the back trying to keep that gunner alive, which is nice, but overall the armor profile, nothing to write home about. You have a 20mm in the tail, then you have a 13 on the top here in a dorsal. Uh, then you have this lad, very, very similar type of turret, uh, just like the DO-217, where they have gunners all over the place, but they're not really that useful. So 13 here, they have the 20 up front, and then of course, you have big man gunner in a wonderful position, as you can see in the x-ray, with a 7.92. So you have a 213mm also, which is up here. Uh, which seems to be radio controlled or something like that. So you have two 20s, two 13s, a 13 with times two, which is this one, and then you have the 7.92 in the nose. So nothing, once again, to write home about when we talk about the uh, defensive armaments. It's definitely not as good as something like a B-17, which is a very similar uh, BR to this, or at least the early ones are when we uh, have a look at them. The plane itself is made of fuel tanks, oil cooling systems, and also these engines. If you have a look at these engines, this is the Daimler-Benz DB610. I believe it's just, I think they're 606s or 604s. They basically just stapled two uh, Daimler-Benz engines together and called it a 610. You can see the two engines either side. So technically this is a four engine bomber, but if you use the designation of the DB610, then it is a twin engine bomber instead. Uh, when we look at the max speed, 518 is nothing to laugh about, especially for something which is going to get a heavy bomber spawn, a very high one, uh, but overall it should be fun to fly, or at least for me. I'm going to really enjoy it. Modifications wise, you start off with a bomb load of uh, 50 48s. So you're going to have to be smashing that spacebar to get them all off. Uh, the upgrade is to 12 250s, which is nice. 6 500s, which is... I would take the 12 250s just for a bit of that versatility. 4 1000s, which is once again good. 2 1800s, uh, which is interesting. And then 2 1800s and 6 500s. So that is going to be the one that the majority of people take. Just because it is a lot of bombs. That's, uh, let's see... 3,600 plus uh, 3,000. So you're talking about 6,600 kilos of bombs. Uh, yeah, you're going to put a big dent in something. And this may be one of those bombers which once again breaks the game because airfields will be destroyed too quickly. We'll have to see. Overall, though, defensively, this thing won't really be able to hold its own. But the bomb load really does make up for it. It is a beautiful aircraft as well. I'm very, very glad it is now fully fledged in the game. The next vehicle comes from another dev blog. This is the LA-200. You will find it after the LA-15. Uh, where is my 174? Hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay, so they've moved the 174 to premium vehicles. That's interesting. 
Uh, but anyway, you have the LA-200. This is a uh, Levechkin, which has two engines in it. So you have this one at the booty, and then this one down here. Should give you a hell of a lot of thrust. They put it at 8 uh, 1,061 kilometers an hour at 8 This thing better not be uh, maneuverable at all. Because <laughs> if this thing gets into a 7-0 match, you ain't, gonna, you ain't gonna catch it. You ain't gonna touch it. The saving grace for a lot of... Uh, planes which you're going to face is the fact that it only has 150 rounds of ammunition but any experienced pilot can easily get two to three kills with that. It's also made of fuel in the center. I may actually test drive this one because I'm really well I'm kind of worried about it. I'm worried it's going to be one of those planes which might not be very good but it's going to be really really annoying to kill if that makes sense. It's going to be one of those uh, planes where what happens is you can't ever catch it, you can't ever catch up to it, just like the old Votors when they were 8-0, but they're still uh, just going to annoy you to no end. Like, uh, they'll just try and head on you and then make a pass, and basically the jet combat I don't really enjoy. But it's going to be interesting to see. I'm much more interested in the Yak-30 uh, at the moment, but anyway, we'll, we'll have a look. The next ones are some British ones. So we actually have two new British Spitfires and also we have, I believe, an updated model for the VB Trop, uh, which is nice. Uh, you can s I believe it looks slightly different. I might be wrong. This is the Thunder League skin that I have, so maybe not the best representation. But we get the Spitfire Mark 5B to start off with. I always love Spitfires. I'm very... Very happy to see more in. This is the 3.7 version, two Hispano Mark II cannons, and also the 7.7mm Browning, so very similar to the other Spitfires that we have, the Mark IIb being one of them. This is basically a quicker version of that, and I'm going to have a hell of a lot of fun in this. I mean, the Spitfires are just fun. I don't know what else to say. So we have not just that one, but we also have the Mark 5C. Now, the big difference between the two new Spitfires, this has the four Hispano Mark IIs uh, with 480 uh, ammunition. Now, I personally don't like stuff which has the... Um, which has the uh, four 20 millimeters instead of the 7.7s, but it still should be incredibly fun. This is pretty much just another Mark V. We already had one in game before. Uh, the one that we had in game before was the Mark 5C Trop, as you can see. So the front of it is slightly different, meaning that the air intake to the engine is slightly different, but the two planes should perform pretty similarly. Uh, the fact that the Mark 5C Normal has a higher BR kind of makes me wonder why, but um, I'm sure we'll see. I mean, the fact is it doesn't have that. It has less drag on the front of it, so maybe that's why. Maybe it's uh, not going to lose speed as hard because the Mark 5C Trop is one of those aircraft which loses speed so quickly. This might be the one that actually got the updated model, actually. This one looks really nice. Uh, but yeah, because of this, it loses so much energy compared to the other Spitfires. So that may be why the BRs are slightly different. On top of that, we have the MB5, which is the new bundle vehicle. 5.7, so the same as the Wyvern. And as you can see, quite small wings, or it's quite a thin aircraft um, compared to its length, but it does have a contraprop on it, and of course the Rolls-Royce Griffin 83 12-cylinder inline. Four Hispano Mark IIs in the wings, which are quite far apart, uh, surprisingly, meaning that convergence is going to be an issue, but this is a machine that can go nearly 700 uh, kilometers an hour. I am going to enjoy this machine when I buy it. I'm not sure it's a, the perfect purchase, but it is exa the exact same BR as the first Spitfire Griffin that we see. What I envision from this is that it's going to be pretty much a Griffin Spitfire, which is going to turn slightly better. But in my opinion, you don't really need that. Uh, so. Uh, if you want it, I would definitely get it, but if you're looking for it to grind out the British tree, the Wyvern is a better idea at 5.0, or the other Griffin Spitfire, the uh, FR Mark 14E. But the MB5, I mean, maybe if you're a Tempest pilot, it may be a lot of fun. We'll have to see. I'm definitely going to pick it up and give it a go, though. For the Japanese, we get our first vehicle, the Ki-108. 
which is sat at 4.0, meaning that uh, they don't seem to have very high hopes in this aircraft. 4.0 with a machine that can nearly go 600 miles per hour, which has two 20 millimeters and a 37, and a crazy ass cockpit, uh, not a lot of armor on it though. Uh, if you look at the cockpit here, it looks absolutely insane and just weird, whatever's going on here. But it does have two engines with, uh, you know, a thousand horsepower each with f nearly 1400 for takeoff. Uh, the main thing is once this thing gets hit, it's pretty much going to lose all maneuverability and you're going to need that maneuverability. What I was interested in is looking at the offensive stuff, if the 37 would get any AP, meaning it would be useful in ground forces. Well, guess not. No, it only gets heavy, meaning that it'll only be good against aircraft. That absolutely sucks. When we look at the belts for the 20mm, you end up with some okay ones, but once again, not penetrating enough to be useful in ground forces. A very sad thing. Uh, you understand it didn't have the AP in real life, but it might be very useful in War Thunder. If we look at the modifications for the MB-5, I just want to check something. No, it's a straight out-and-out -out fighter, so it doesn't get any secondary armaments. The Italians get some new stuff. So first of all, Spitfire Mark 5B Trop, a complete copy of the one that we have in the uh, British tree. It sits at 1300 Golden Eagles, rank 3, battle rating 3.3. If you like Spitfires, it's a great pickup. Um, it should actually go really well with the C205s and the BF109s that you have on your tree. Uh, it's going to be incredibly annoying playing that BR now as a Spitfire against other Spitfires. And the other one that we have is of course the RE2000 Series 1. And as you can see it's in its own part of the tech tree. Hopefully this means that we'll get some of the other REs such as the 2005 and the 2001. Which the 2005 is the one I'm really looking forward to. But as you can see, it's very similar to the P36G, uh, or the P36A, I think is probably better. It has two uh, Breda Safat 12.7mm in the center, right here. It sits at a battle rating of 2.0, and it's pretty nippy uh, for what it is. Uh, this should be a fun little aircraft to fly, and it's got a really cool x-ray view with the spars here. And the armor itself is non-existent, but generally if you're behind an enemy, it doesn't really matter if you have no armor. This should feel very much like a Hawk, and I enjoy the Hawks, so should be a fun machine to use. And only 5,900 RP, so pretty easy to get. The last uh, stuff that we get is interesting. So we get a Martin 167A3, which we had a dev blog on. Let's have a look at the bomb loads and stuff like that. You start off uh, looking at it thinking it's a Blenheim. Well, it's not a Blenheim. It's pretty close, though. 7.7mm Vickers in the back, so this is naturally... A, a British gun instead of the 7.5 and then it has 7.7mm uh, Browning machine guns in the offensive department. Now when I saw the dev blog I thought that they were going to put a uh, one of these machines in the British tree. I'm very surprised that it isn't in the British tree and it maybe it'll become a premium or a bundle aircraft and I hope not. I feel like it has earned its place in the standard tech tree. But you have a crew of three, pilot, gunner, and gunner. This guy isn't really a gunner, he's a bombardier, more like. Uh, but armor profile, non-existent. It is a 2.3 though, so you don't really need one. And my big question is the bomb loads. So you have four 250s and eight 250s. This is just the British version. Uh, it doesn't have anything that isn't British on it. I don't know why it's in the French tree. The French did use, or wanted at least to use, different machine guns, so at least give them that. But this also has British bombs in it, it doesn't have French bombs. So I don't know what's going on. It seems very odd to me that uh, this is just a carbon copy of the one which should be in the British tree. But there isn't one in the British tree right now. Now this may change in subsequent uh, dev blogs, not dev blogs, dev servers, but it's just, it's weird to me. Uh, there's no reason to take this over the Farman or the NC2. No reason to take it over this, um, unless you actually want to have the offensive armaments. This has two 500 kilo bombs. That's uh, sorry, it has one 500 kilo bomb, and the most you can get on this Martin 
is I believe eight two fifties, which it's about two point two to one kilo. So eight two fifties is two thousand pounds. So you're probably looking at about eight hundred kilos worth of bombs. So you get slightly more bombs, but that's really about it. It's much better to either take the Leo uh, or to just take the NC or the Farman. There's literally no reason not to take these uh, for something like a Martin. Especially that they are poundage of bombs, meaning that they're not going to be great against tanks. The next vehicle is the Yak-3. So the Yak-3 sits at 4.0. It's 1,600 Golden Eagles. It's a premium. I would have liked to have seen this in the tree, uh, but, well, it's a premium. This is a standard Yak-3, 120mm in the nose, uh, which is... it should be... yeah, I believe it's in the middle of the engine. Uh, as you can see the point here, then it has two 12.7 millimeters with 300 rounds of ammunition. The Ak-3 is a uh, all fun aircraft in the Russian tree, and there's no reason why they wouldn't be fun in the French tree. The skin itself is very bland, but that's kind of what I like about the French skins. I like the fact that there's no nonsense. It looks kind of factory new with a few uh, nice colors on it, such as on the nose and also on the rudder. Uh, bits of help with bulletproof glass, but overall not that much help and the the 20 millimeter rounds I'm still figuring out which ones after years I'm still working out which ones are the best for the Shivax, but generally I like all of them They're all useful and then you also get a hundred octane fuel usage with this thing and overall uh, Traces for the 12.7s will work well if you don't have the French uh, vehicles uh, Like as you can see I have quite a lot of them so a Yak-3 would kind of be useless for me, especially since I was able to pick up the special Yak-9T when it was on offer. But let's say you miss that, let's say you want to grind through the air tree, I would say this is much more useful for you instead of something like the Narval. So I would pick this up uh, if you want to just grind through it. Uh, next is the last plane. This is an interesting one. This is a pre-production Mr. 2C. Now if you know anything about the Mr. 2, you'll know it was one of the first aircraft to actually break the uh, max speed in uh, Europe, I believe. And seeing a pre-production version of it basically just means that we are not going to get the version which is going to be able to do that. Uh, it has two 30mm defers on it, so pretty much the Hunter's guns and the second Votor's guns, and with that comes a hell of a lot of damage. The engine itself, the SNEC MA ATAR 101 D3 Jet, should be incredibly fun to use as well because this is going to be a fast aircraft, about the same speed as the LA 200. But understand, this is 90, this is not 80 like the LA 200. You can maybe see why it may be an issue in Severo battles. Uh, if we look at the armor profile of this machine, you have a little bit for your uh, pilot, meaning that taking head ons might be. A better idea in this compared to some other aircraft but this should be quite fun to fly uh, after playing let's see which ones I've actually played the Barujon and the Votor the Barujon is a fun aircraft it is let down a little bit by its 20 millimeters so getting one which is slightly faster slightly less maneuverable but better guns should be fun for a lot of French aircraft and maybe uh, sorry French players and maybe a sign to come if this aircraft is only the pre-production version, which it is. Well, let's see if we get the production variant. That may be rank 6 jets right there. Uh, the introduction of something like that. This is definitely skirting the boundaries of it. But yeah, if we got something like that, it would definitely be rank 6. But anyway, uh, that is the preliminary look at the aircraft that are coming in update 1.77. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you next time.